What's up YouTube? We are back with another awesome moto vlog. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to do a quick little channel update. It is beautiful here in Florida. It's like 55 degrees, uh, sunny, very good temperatures for being outside. And with that being said, uh, as you can see here, I got some rolls of vinyl um, from the polls that I did over the summer for different vinyl wraps. I will finally announce the winner. And so the winner from the vinyl wrap poll over the summer, that was the thrash rendering. So thank you for everybody who voted and participated. It was fun for me to let you as viewers get to decide the fate of the GX and what it looks like. And so thankfully everybody was equally as excited about the thrash rendering as I was. And I just wanted to kind of give everybody an update. I had been delaying it just because it's hot here in Florida and I had mentioned that in the most recent uh, virtual cars and coffee video. But for everybody else who maybe didn't catch that, it was just too hot in the summer here to be outside vinyl wrapping the entire vehicle. And I just wanted to wait till it cooled off. So it's finally cooled off. So look for a video in the next month or so on wrapping the GX. So as you can probably tell from the description of the video, we're finally using the 3M headlight restoration kit. So this is just one of many headlight restoration kits out there. Everybody raves about this one, but I also see great things about the others as well. I particularly really like 3M products, so I just decided to go with the 3M. All right, so with this kit, you've got this drill attachment. So you'll need some sort of a drill to use this. So this has a nice foam backing on it with a Velcro front so that you can put the different pads on and they stick to it. Um, another thing it comes with, is it comes with uh, some tape for taping around the headlights so you're not scratching your paint. So it looks like there's a couple different types of pads here. There's some 500, 800, and 3000 grit sanding pads. So those will slowly work our way up from the 500, 800, and then 3000. And then once everything's said and done and we've gotten our headlights polished back to looking like new, they also provide this nice headlight clear coat and so what you do is you apply this at the very end and this gives you UV protection to keep them looking better for longer. So as you can see here my headlights need some restoration and I know many of you are in the same boat. It seems to be one of the things that plagues some of these older vehicles and the GX is one of them. If you take notice a lot of Toyotas from the early 2000s have yellowed headlights at this point. Uh, the, the sun just slowly deteriorates that plastic and gives you that yellow haze. Good thing is we can buff that out and really clean that up and make it look a lot better. I will say that this is kind of a temporary fix for me because in the long run, my ultimate goal is to build custom headlights. So as a temporary fix until we get the custom headlights built, we'll use this 3M restoration kit and we'll get them looking like new for the time being. Also as an addition, I just really wanted to throw this in as a, an extra. I brought this up in the live stream. I've got these H3 headlights, which are replacements for the fog lights. These are LED replacements, which I'm pretty excited about. Nothing special, just some cheap Amazon LEDs. You know, if they go bad in a year or two, that's fine. Uh, no, no intentions of having these last a long time, but I am replacing those today, so I thought I would kind of show what the before and after that looks like. So we'll install these H3 fog lights, and that will give us a much better look. But Without further ado, let's just get out there to the GX and start restoring these headlights. Alright, so we'll start off with the tape that they provided and we will tape around the outside of the headlights so that we don't scratch the paint while we're buffing the surface. So with your drill, put your 500 grit pad on and start sanding. Uh, you will need some water. So I got a bowl of water. This will be for the final 3000 grit. Uh, you'll need to do some wet sanding for that. So just kind of have that off the side and ready. And i uh, going to do a couple passes on the 500 grit and a couple on the 800. And then we'll wipe in between and then we'll switch to the 3000 grit and wet sand.
All right, so after the uh, 500 grit pass, everything has kind of got like a, a haze to it, and that's normal. Uh, what you do is you just kind of clean the surface off. And I switched over to the 800 grit pad. I'm just going to go and do three more passes with that. Some people call it love. That's what All right, so after the 800 grit, you can see still looks about the same but if you look up close here I can see that the scratches are getting a little bit smaller um, now the last step here will be to do the 3000 grit and with the 3000 grit we're going to apply some water and get a wet sand going and that should take out those final 800 grit scratches and get us a still hazy look uh, once we're done with that we'll apply the clear coat that should clean them up and make them look a lot better So after using the 3000 grit uh, pad on them, you can see that the headlights look a lot better than they did at the beginning of this. I will say that it has revealed that there are cracks in my headlights, uh, which is why eventually we're going to be replacing these with a nice custom uh, headlight. So, you know, this will do for the time being. Uh, I'm going to repeat these steps on the other side, but as you can tell, it looks a lot better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the masking tape around the edges. So they provided two different packs of wipes. Uh, what you do is you use the first wipe on both lenses. So as you can see, I went over here and I repeated the same steps on both headlights. And you can see right now, they look okay. Uh, they're a lot better than what they were. I'm hoping that this kind of does the final trick and gets the clear coat looking nice. Uh, this will help protect them from getting any more yellow as it has a UV blocking uh, property to it. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe both headlights down with this and then wait 5 to 10 minutes and then do a final coat uh, on both with the second wipe. And I'm not sure if you can see from there already but this clear coat is just cleaning up everything and making it look so much better. Uh, so I think this will do the trick and give it that final look that we're going for. I'll grab the camera and get a little close up view once I get this first coat applied. We just kind of coat the whole headlight in it. So as you can see, the clear coat made some pretty drastic improvements and made this look a heck of a lot better, so that's pretty awesome. I'm excited about that. And uh, we'll put one more coat on this. Well that does it for today's video. I'd say this 3M headlight restoration kit was worth every penny at about $20 for this. It did a huge improvement on the headlights and makes them look almost brand new. So for 20 bucks and about an hour's worth of your time, I'd say this is a really awesome solution for anybody who's just looking to restore their headlights. They're not really in the market to go buy brand new ones. This just really cleans them up. I will say that it did reveal some cracks in the headlights, but that's something that just comes with having a 15, 16 year old vehicle. When we build the custom headlights, we'll replace these anyways, but for the time being, this looks great. 20 bucks, totally worth it. 
now that the headlights look new, the fog lights look kind of hazy, and putting those bulbs in there really showed a lot of the blemishes. Ultimately, in the future, I'd like to get a front bumper, so I'll be replacing those fog lights anyways. But for the time being, I will probably do a restoration of those as well, just to get me by until I get those new parts. So if you like this video, go hit that thumbs up button down below. If you want to see more GX470 content, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get notifications every time I upload new videos. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.